Coco is purring on your back. The rise and fall of your breathing. So, Jumbo, it has gotten you to the extent of taking your riff and rap to church service. Are you okay? They are also children of God, created by God. Now, is it not God that created them? Stop this discrimination, Dad. Jumbo, don't ever take those puppies to church service again. They are not puppies. They have names. Kindly address them by their names. Okay, Jumbo. What can you to go church service again? Have I made myself clear? Dad, they won't be happy if we leave them behind on Sunday morning. You have to see how happy they were today, dancing in the house of God. Nalayo, Allah will allow you to their church vibes. What is wrong with this boy? You get my Kai Riffraffs enter Church of God. I don't even know why you choose to name those puppies Riff and Raffs. Despite all the good pet names in this world. No wonder since they came into this house. Bad luck full everywhere. Jumbo, if you don't take your time in this very house, very soon, I will end the story about this Riff Raffs. Enough is enough. Honey, please, leave my Riff and Raffs for me. They didn't do anything, no. Thou shalt not murder. Is it not among the Ten Commandments? Angela. Life has finished me. Oh, look at what they did to me. My Pascal is gone. He's gone. Oh, no, no, no. God, why? Please do something, God. This can be true. <sighs> his son has been crying non-stop since today. The little boy knows that his dear father has left him alone in this wicked world. Why will Pascal leave this little boy who needs him more than life? Oh, God. My world just crumbled before me. Angela, I am broken. Diana, please pull yourself together. My beard says, Please be strong for me. We can challenge God. If it pleases him this way, then let's wipe our tears and watch him console us. The loss is unbearable. Oh, Mr. Pascal was one of the nicest person I knew. Who would dare to do such a thing? Angela, look at me. I'm just 32 years. How do I carry this heavy burden that has been placed on my shoulders? How do I bear the title? We do. At this very young age, oh, death has done it worse. They should also come and take me as well because I can't live without my past. I feel your pain, sis. I feel it. The world is full of woes. Temptations and sorrows keeps haunting our innocent souls. Chai, the lovely Mr. Pascal is gone. No, we have to keep calling on God. He has to bring him back for us. We can't accept this at all. Oh, yes. Please help me to call on God. Call on him to come and help me. Because I am among the most helpless and miserable today. I have lost my darling husband just barely two, three years of our marriage. Two, three years spent together. And today my husband is lying lifelessly in the mortuary. Oh, heaven, please don't do this to me. <laughs> Chai, this is so pathetic. So, I can't believe that gentleman is no more. What a life. Kane, my heart is so heavy. I have cried out my eyes. Oh, how I wish tears could bring him back. I don't mind crying a river just to bring Mr. Pascal back. He was a very nice man. You don't have to tell me. The very few times I was opportune to speak with him, I would confess I learned so many things from him. His advice weren't judgmental in any way. He always gives his candid advice and he's so respectful and humble. A great man of wisdom. Oh! Eight has lost the light. Oh yes, it was a great light indeed. He came into Diana's life and lighted up our world. He came into my life and significantly added value to my life. He was so down to earth, the most peaceful man I have ever met. Oh poor Diana, you don't deserve this. Diana doesn't deserve this at all. Hmm, of course, she doesn't deserve it. No one deserves to lose his or her sponge, but death is inevitable. We will all pay that price someday. I pray that God himself would comfort her and give her the heart to bear his great loss. Amen. I pray so too cause she's so broken at the moment. Yeah, she ought to be. God will help her. How about their son? He's fine. The mother said he has been crying incessantly ever since his father died. The little baby is already feeling his father's absence. He's already going through the pains of life at that very tender age. Oh God, I wish you can rewind faith and save our dear Pascal. Diana, please, I know exactly what you're going through. Please pull yourself together and be strong. Look at your child and gain more courage to force her head in life. Better days are ahead. 
Mr. Ken, are you sure that better days are ahead? Because I've not seen any better days without Pascal in the picture. Diana, please keep speaking positive to your life. This is not the end of life for you. Oh no, it is. This is the end of life. Pascal is no more. All the money and assets we acquired are gone. Where do I start from? I'm not seeing any better days. I just feel like ending it all. Please, Diana, don't. So if you kill yourself, what will become of your son? Who knows you so much? Please stand by him and give him the life his father would have given him if he were alive. You are the father he now has. No, now. I can't play the role of a father. How do I do it? I have nothing to my name. We spent all we had paying hospital bills. I thought Pascal would make it. I expected him to fight the battle and come out of it strong. Oh, no. Look at what Pascal did to me. <laughs> It's okay. Stop crying, my dear. God will see you through these tough times. He will never let you down. I will call you before the end of today. I would also send you some money. Please, whatever you need, let me know. Oh, thank you so much, Mr. Ken. God bless you. Hey, yeah. Uh, it's so unfortunate. Very pathetic. I wish he wasn't in that far distance. I would have helped him. Hmm. <clears throat> such is life. The wife is in deep pain. Hmm, so bad. She ought to be. She has lost so much to do to her. I believe she must have spent so much trying to save her husband's life, yet it was to no avail. You're right. You spent a fortune. Oh, life can be full of pains sometimes. Yeah, such is life. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we mourn. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. We should always be prepared for whatever the wind of life will throw at us. Hmm, <sighs> so true, Papa. May the soul of the deceased Rest in perfect peace. Amen. And may God comfort his wife and grant her the heart to bear the loss. Amen. This man's death reminds me of when I lost my own parents. It was as if the whole world crumbled before me that very day. Hmm. It wasn't easy for us then. But God help us to bear the loss. With time, she would heal from the pain. Yeah, his body has been moved to the mortuary since. His family members over here are already making preparations and now we'll be bringing him back to his motherland for his burial. Yeah, so Pascal has some family members over there. Yes, but just few. They have been of great help to me. Some even left their houses to be with me. If not for them, I would have committed suicide since. Yeah, go and reward them for their kindness. So they are yet to fix the burial date. Yes, we would return back to Nigeria first before fixing the burial. I believe his family members here in Nigeria are already aware of his death. Sure they have. We learned that his relatives in the village have already been wailing and mourning for three days now. His death came to them as a shock. He was a great light in his family. Hey, try. Yes, why are you so cruel? It is very with you, my dear. So you guys will be returning to Nigeria very soon. Yeah, very, very soon. We pray that things work out as planned. Sure it will. God will come true for you in your husband's burial. You will never lack or beg anything. Amen. Thank you. Please help me thank your husband, Ken. He has been sending me money right from the time Pascal was still at the hospital. Didn't know he's kind and generous. God will surely bless him for me. Amen and bless you too. You know you are the person I have in this world. It's because I don't have. That's why I haven't sent you money. So my man is obliged to do so on my behalf. You don't need to thank him when he does such. It's an obligation on our side. Oh, God bless you so much, Angela. I've never regretted knowing you. Hello? Please, who is on the phone? It's me, Mike. Tony's friend. Oh, Mike, how are you? Long time. Everyone is fine. Have you been hearing from your friend? I haven't heard from him, but I got his uncle one certain time. Oh, okay. So what did he say to you concerning Tony? He said Tony is fine. I believe he's okay now. Oh, thank God for the good news. So he didn't tell you how you can contact Tony? No, he didn't. He said he doesn't have Tony's number in his phone. Uh-uh. Don't stay live together. No, I don't think so. Okay. We need to get him or eventually get Tony. Please don't forget to send my regards to him. Sure, I will. She said they will be coming back to Nigeria this weekend. Okay. That's close already. Yeah, you know we're going to be attending the barrier. So, what region are they from? They are from Middle Beds. Oh, okay. That's quite far, but we will go. Yeah, it's far. We have no choice. We have to go pay Pascal's last homage, especially me. I don't have to fear to be in that barrier. Don't worry. We will both go together. Where are we going to drop the guests? Because we may not come back that same day. 
Where to drop them is not a problem. We will discuss that with their school matron. There are some kids that live in school. The girls will join them and stay over in school for just two days. I believe we won't exceed two days over there. Sure, that's a good idea. I missed you so much, Diana. Nice seeing you again. I'm happy to see you, my dear. Mr. Ken, nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too, Diana. Please accept our condolence. Thanks, Mr. Ken. The Lord is your strength. He will surely comfort you. Amen. Thanks, dear. I'll soon be leaving. Thought you said you'll be sleeping over today. No, my husband brother just sent a message now that I should show up. I need to go and meet them. Oh, uh, so you all will be traveling to the village tomorrow? Yeah, first thing tomorrow. Please be strong, my dear. Also keep us updated when you get to the village. Sure, I will. Thanks for your support. It's a privilege, dear. Babe, go get her something to eat. At least let her eat something before leaving. No, thanks. I'm full, sir. You are full? When you haven't eaten something today? I had snacks, sir. Thank you. I understand, sis. But you have to force yourself and eat well every day. God is in control. He won't forsake you. <laughs> Who will be in this condition of mind that wouldn't look emaciated? Diana, please, it's okay. Stop crying. My heart is bleeding as well. Oh, Pasca, may your gentle soul keep resting in perfect peace. We will all miss you. Diana, it's okay. I want you to wipe your tears. I am here for you, and we always be here for you. The world has not ended. There is still hope for you. Pascal, my world, the love of my life, how do I do life without you? You left me alone in this crowd world, knowing too well that I can't live without you. Oh, Dad, why must you take the only person that cares for me out of this world? Ah! <laughs> yeah, he has left you. But remember that God hasn't left you. Please pull yourself together and weep no more. His soul would continue to rest in peace till we meet on the last day. Stop crying. Pascal is just resting. You will meet him again on the last day. Oh, dead. Angela, you're not telling me the truth. My word has ended today. Pascal is gone. Pascal have left me. Ah! Hey! Hey! Diana, please, I want you to be strong. I understand how rough life might be for you this period. But I would advise you to stop thinking about the past and forge on gracefully with your life. God knows best and he will never let you down. Amen. Thanks for your words of encouragement. You have always been a pillar in my life. You know for you, I don't know how bad my life would have been this period. Thanks for always standing by my side. It's an obligation. We are more like sisters than friends. I got your back for life, baby. Oh, thanks so much, dear. You're welcome. So tell me, would you still be traveling back to Dubai? I don't think so. What am I going back to do without Pascal? Life over there is pretty expensive. I can't foot the bills. I don't think I will be going back there. I'll just look for a room self-contained to rent. We'll just pack into the apartment with my son and bags and start life afresh. Hmm, it is well. Where do you intend living? Here in this city. We'll look for an affordable apartment anywhere in this city. Alright, that's good. So you would continue the business you were doing before you traveled out? Sure, I will. I have already contacted some of my customers that used to patronize me then. Wow, that was good. So what about your son, Ryan? What are your plans for him? I will. I'll have to enroll him into a daycare. He's almost two years. I've weaned him so he would cope in school without me. Okay. It is well, my sister. God will see you through. Amen. Thank you. Ken, are you sure you are emotionally ready for this marriage? Yes, I am. Okay, so you don't intend giving birth to another child? Yes, I don't need another. Let me train the ones I have first. Ken, you need a male child. I know I do, but Angela can't have a child for me. What do I do? That's why I asked you that initial question. Are you emotionally and physiologically ready for this marriage? Yes, I am ready, Papa. Besides, Angela is not even showing interest in the marriage. I don't even know what her plans is. Hmm. And you aren't bothered to know. Why should I bother about that when I know too well that she can't give me a child? If I desperately need a male child, I can always have one with some other lady out there. Then what are you saying? You want to betray Angela again? Papa, this is not betrayal. I would just pay any random lady who would give me the male child and we would go our separate ways just the way I did with Prisca. Angela has a good heart. 
and I want her to be the only woman in my life. She gives me peace of mind and she takes care of the girls so well. Unlike those previous good digger, I dated that's where just after my money. Hmm. Now, wow, children of this generation, you guys have really turned our culture and tradition upside down. Hmm. So, childbearing is not a contract. They give you children, you pay them off. Hmm. God the mercy on this generation. She can come and marry with us here. The visitor's room is vacant. She should save that money she would be using to pay house rent or use it to support her business. Okay, but are you sure Diana would like to stay with us? Why not? Is there anything bad about that? Nothing. She likes her privacy a lot. Madam, just stay her first. You can't assume. Alright, I will. Better. So, she will be coming with her son, right? Of course. That's all she has in life for now. Yeah. How old is the little boy? I think he's a year and 11 months. He would be two by next month. Wow. He's a big boy already. Sure. So she said she would be enrolling him in a daycare. Why not enroll him into a school rather? Sure. And um, daycare is true, crutch. Okay, that's good. Diana, please, you can join us here. I have talked to Ken about it and he has agreed. Why not save that money and manage here with us for the meantime? Oh, you're such a sweetheart. You care for me so much. God bless you, sis. And you too. So when will you be leaving the village? Mm, I'm supposed to be leaving here soon, but my brother-in-law asked me to wait a little to a month in. Why? What happened? Nothing. They say tradition demands that I mourn my husband for 40 days before leaving my husband's village. Oh, okay. But hope they aren't giving you any headaches. Not at all. They are all nice people. I even heard they are contributing money for me. They've been so supportive. Hey, yeah, they are nice people indeed. Go will bless them. How is my little boy Ryan? Ryan is fine. He's playing outside with his cousin. Wow, he's now a big boy. So he can now play with others. <laughs> sure, he's playing football with them. <laughs> Footballer indeed, with his tiny feet. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see you both again. We can't wait to see you too. Thanks for the love, dear. Hello Diana, how are you today? I'm fine, and you? Same. How is your little boy? He's fine, thank you. How is my friend? She's fine. I called to check on you. Hope you are getting stronger. Sure, sir. Thanks for the call. I appreciate. You're welcome, dear. Um, my wife told me about you coming down to this city soon. Yeah, by mountain, sir. Okay. Hope you don't mind joining us in our house. I promise you that you won't have any issues staying with us. And you need to, because... It will help you to heal faster in this condition. Oh, you're such a nice man. God bless you, Mr. Ken. I really appreciate Bless you too, Mrs. Diane. How are your husband people doing? Hope everyone is fine. Sure, sir. Everyone is fine. And your family? We are all fine. Thank you. Okay. I will call you back soon, dear. Um, you are coming by month end, right? Exactly. By month end, sir. All right. Don't fail to call us. If there's anything challenge, please take good care of yourself and your son. All right. Thanks for calling. You are welcome. Have a nice day. And you too. Babe, when are you going to go pick the children from school? In the next one hour. They are having extracurricular activities today. Oh, okay. What are we having for lunch today? I am making porridge, jam and beans already. Hope you like that. Um, not my favorite, but would manage it. <laughs> Funny you. Must you eat your favorite all the time? Madam. I never said so. Stop calling me madam. I don't like that. Sorry, ma. Use the right word. Sorry, my Queen Elizabeth. Not see you. See his big head. <laughs> like your own. It's your key. <laughs> <laughs> you see, Popo. Two of us now, Aki and Popo now. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know, serious. Not see you. Diana, please, this is your house. You are highly welcome into this house. Please feel at home. Yes, Diana. I want you to feel free here with us. This place might not really look conducive, but please manage here with us. Oh, you both are angels in human form. You've never left me down. I will never forget. Always grateful. Thank you. You're welcome, Jerry. You know you are the best friend ever. My one and only bestie. My gist mate. You know us with the room now. No darling with you. <laughs> 
<laughs> funny you thank you you're making me blush <laughs> yeah blush hard your friend is good at what she does <laughs> oh my goodness really angela sure that's how she always flatters me whenever she wants to get money from me oh my goodness angela you did that wait hold on i don't understand what is going on here Ken, are you reporting me to my friend or you are gossiping about me all of the above <laughs> Diana, don't mind him. I praise him and not flatter. Don't worry. You will still beg me to praise you again. This time around, you will pay for it. <laughs> Diana, you see what I told you? I pay for it. <laughs> Both of you are so funny, my ribs. Let it all speak.